This is Andy Purawa for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be by Gerald Tucker here in Cardiff. Gerald, firstly, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, brother? All good, all good. Obviously, good to see you too. Um, we've just seen the, the official weigh-in, shall we say, the ceremonial ones to take place later on. Clarissa Shields, the woman you're working with, how does she look on the scales? Oh, she looked great on the scales. Um, she was, uh, I think she was 159, so she did well. She did well. Great camp, um, easy weight cut. Talk to me about the training dynamic between yourself and John David Jackson, uh, Gerald. How is everything working out between the pair of you, obviously, training, Clarissa? Uh, it works out. We, we mesh very well. Um, I, I, I play my role to the T. Um, I don't do too much. I don't do too little. I do just enough perfect balance. And um, uh, we work well together. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, John will agree. Working with Clarissa going into this fight, what are you expecting to show for her to show that you guys have been able to work on specifically during training camp? Oh yeah, I think you'll see more of her power, um, more patience from her, um, uh, more uh, of setting shots up, um, not just uh, running them off, and um, more of a, a calmer fighter, uh, more relaxed, more um, uh, intuitive. Um, you'll see, you'll see. With Emma Cozin, the woman in the opposite corner, what are you expecting from her? You know, she seems very confident from what we've seen throughout this week. Oh yeah, confidence. Um, I think. What I could expect from her is um, uh, to, to try what she's tried in, in all her previous victories, and, um, and you know, she'll, she'll see that there's a huge difference between her opposition in the past and, and to, to the present. I know it's been spoken about through this week, but the potential of Mr. Floyd Mayweather turning you know, up. Just before we come on to that, what's it been like for Clarissa to have worked closely with Floyd, to have seen him in the gym, and the experience and knowledge that he might have passed on to her? What's that been like for her? Uh, for her, man, um, outside looking in, it looks like she has a, a huge uh, boost of um, energy, um, positive energy, confidence. Um, she's uh, she's already on a mission for um, a, a knockout victory, you know, from now on, you know, whoever she gets in the ring with. But um, I think it's, it's even more, um, even more now that she's, uh, you know, ran into Floyd and they got to have camp together. You know, they train back to back every night. So she go first and I train Floyd right after. So um, it was, and she stayed. She had stay after her gym session and watch Floyd train the score as well. And um, so I think it's, it's been a, a great boost to her confidence because um, she, she's already got a, a huge confidence in herself. But um, it did nothing, it did nothing but positive for her, um, for this fight and this camp. I mean, Gerald, you said there she saw Floyd sparring. Uh, we know he's always kept in good condition despite his retirement from professional boxing, but do you think we'll see him return soon to the ring? Maybe not in a professional battle, whether it be a, an exhibition one. No, he already has an exhibition set up. We're um, supposed to go to Dubai in two weeks, so um, he's set to fight on the helipad at a... a, a yes, uh, money kicks. Yeah, yeah, against money kicks. Um, I think everything is still to be, to be announced. Um, I think the, the date may be out by a couple days or so, but um, yeah, that's what we're looking for for Floyd. I also think there's an April, something in April, maybe um, beginning of May, but um, I, I got a feeling that there that he may come out of the ring and risk his record, man. Yeah, I think he may come out and risk his record, man. What level of opposition, if he was to do that, what level of opposition would he do that against? No, 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 it's, this, is, this is nothing, this is just a feeling I have. Yeah. Yes, there's nothing certain, so I, I have no idea, and um, uh, he could beat the best, name him. Name the best, and he can beat them. So, so there's no, there's no uh, level that he would need to pick. There's no level. He can go straight for the high. Um, just to kind of go away from those guys, last time we saw each other was in Tampa when Tyron Woodley suffered that stoppage defeat to Jack Paul. Firstly, how is Tyron since then? Uh, Tyron is great, man. I talk to him every day. Um, he's in great spirits. Um, he's looking forward to what he has next. He's um, commentating. Well, he's judging, I'm sorry, for um, PFL. Um, is they have a contender series coming up, and he's um, one of the judges alongside uh, Wiz Khalifa and uh, uh, Ray Lewis and um, someone else. But um, uh, he's he's doing great, man. He's um, on to on to other things, and he's looking for it. I think he has something set up for a UK match later on in the year. Oh, so that's going to be my next question. Tyron said after that fight, despite the defeat, he wanted to return, most likely in boxing. So has he spoken about that with yourself? He wants to get back into camp, and he wants to get back into the boxing ring. Yes, um, he was gonna come to this camp, but um, uh, weather, some weather issues. But um, yeah, he's he's trying to get back into the swing of things uh, as fast as possible. He's uh, he loves the sport of boxing. He can't wait to get back in there. All right, Gerald, we'll leave that there now. Leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate your time. Thank you for speaking to me in Boxing Social. Thanks a lot. Nice seeing you again, brother. <laughs>